Hello everyone, welcome back to SFDC Panther. My name is Amit Singh and we are in the Flow Builder series where we are talking about various scenarios. So before we go ahead and start working on the scenarios, uh, we will talk about uh, a very important concept in Flow which is looping the elements. For example, you have a list of records and you wanted to get uh, one record one by one, right? Each record one by one and then you wanted to do some processing and after that, once the loop is end, you wanted to do something else. Okay. So for example, here we will take, suppose that uh, you have these list of accounts, you have multiple accounts over here. So that these are the accounts that you have, right? You wanted to fetch all these accounts and then you wanted to display the account name, account phone number and account type in a screen. Okay. So how you can do that? So first thing that you will do is you will get all these accounts. That is obvious if you wanted to display. Now you will have list of accounts. So how you will display? That is what we are going to see in the flow. So now without taking, uh, without making any further delay, let's quickly create the flow. So he just go to the setup. From the setup, go to flows and then under process automation category, select flows. Click on this new flow. I have selected this record triggered flow. I'm just going to delete this and uh, we will select a. Uh, screen flow basically because we wanted to display screens you can select whatever the layout you want and this is our start okay so what we will do is first thing we will get all the account records so for getting that records whenever you are uh, getting a record from salesforce inside a flow you have an element called get records just need to use that and then just give the name and whatever the object you have and you will be able to identify a few more things as well so I have just given the label SOQL get account records and the object is going to be our account as we discussed. As soon as you select object, it will ask for some filters, right? If you have some filters. So uh, we will say none, get all the records, okay? Then if you want to have some sortings, say that you wanted to have some sorting of uh, descending based on created date. You can have that descending order based on created date. How many records you wanted to store either one or multiple so we will select all the records automatically we are going to store all the fields so that in future if you wanted to expand the information we can do that then go ahead and click on done so if you see on the left hand side you are able to see the variables this is say that record collection variable get um, like accounts from get account records right so basically this is our list uh, where we are going to put a loop so to put the loop, what you will do is, if you are using this auto uh, auto layout, you can just click on this plus icon. Otherwise, on the left hand side, you will see the resources. Uh, let me show you how you will see. You will see the elements, and then you just need to drag and drop uh, loop element from here. So you just need to go ahead and drag and drop. So you will see here. So we can say that loop through all account records. So we have given the label as loop with all account records. Variable is account record. What is our collection variable? Our collection variable is whatever we have got from our SQL query. What is going to be the direction? You can say either first item to last item or you can say last item to first item. Click on done. So you have got this loop. I will just go ahead and okay. First I will connect it. I will go ahead and use auto layout because that is a very easy for us to understand. You can see here now it is saying that how our loop is going to look like. Like this loop, loop is going to start this way and it will keep iterating for each particular account record. Remember this will always start from here to here, not this way. Because this is very a uh, confusing part. Sometimes uh, we try to put elements in an order and then uh, if you don't remember the order gets uh, uh, displaced and then we don't get a particular result or we don't get the exact result we are expecting. So here we have got now what we need is we need to display the elements right basically account record so just go ahead add here and click on screen okay and you can say that label here you can say display account record and here what we want to have is we wanted to display the account information to display we will have a display text element we'll just select here and we will say that account information is going to be our api name what we want to have here is let's say that as we discussed we will say account name then we will discuss account phone as well as account type okay now here what we will have for account name for account type we know that we have got the fields so to do that just click on this insert resource you will see here record single so 
so you have two things now one list and one every single item from the list one by one for example your loop is running for account name so for the first time you will see account name for the second time you will see account name two then you will see amit you will see amit english these are the names or these are the accounts you will see one by one and this is what you will get here under single resource so just click here and you will search for name so this is your name for account name similarly we will do the same for our phone and time so we have got this and we will just go ahead and click on done so this screen is going to be displayed for each and every account record there won't be like uh, because this is inside a for loop so whatever we will uh, whatever the logic we will put inside a for loop that will be iterated the number of times our records are there in the list one more thing that we will have we will have a screen element and we will say heading over here what heading is this we will again have display text element because that is kind of a rich text area for us so we will say the di display text and we will say that uh, account records and here what we will say that uh, account information that is just this is what heading we wanted to have and we will make it as bold let's say that the 20 letters bold and this and if you wanted to have put in center and click on done so now we have got every single thing is here at the end if you wanted to have something you can also have something else some other information like that you know, whatever you wanted to have like creating contact records or something else okay now what we will do is we will just go ahead and click on save and we will say that display account record this is our flow name go ahead and save it and before we actually activate it we can just go ahead and debug it so as soon as we will debug we will be able to see each and every information we will be able to see the ui part of, of our flow as well and then if you wanted to have that flow on the some button call or some screens you can also have that so okay we are getting this account information uh, and i think if you click on next okay now we are able to see this account you can see here this is the account if you click on next then you have got i got another account and then if you see so, so basically you are seeing whatever the accounts you have and as we have the screens that is why we are able to see the multiple screens over here right so that is how we can have this over there like we can have these screens and all those things so this is how your account is uh, basically going to look like you can have uh, all the accounts that you are having and you see here whatever you are getting here so that is uh, one thing that i would like to uh, tell you before we get started with the scenario the looping element and one thing related to this get record element is there so if you are making a query here and the account doesn't exist or the record doesn't exist let's say that i'm saying and i am uh, i'm saying that name okay and equal to say that whatever i'm just putting some numbers okay if this value doesn't return anything and even if i say i wanted to have only one record if this value doesn't return anything flow doesn't throw any error in in your uh, apex you will be getting the error soq will uh, uh, I, I think no rows return something error you will get but in flow it basically tackles behind the scene you don't get, get any error similarly for inserting a blank object if you insert a blank object inside your apex class uh, you will see null pointer exception but in your uh, flow you won't see that is completely taken care by salesforce so this is it for this video thank you for your time and before you go ahead please do like share subscribe the channel and uh, we will talk about the various flows uh, scenarios into the coming videos thank you